Um, hi guys, and welcome to, um, another tutorial. Today, I will be showing you how to make a star trail in Adobe After Effects. Yeah, so let's get started. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit that like button and, um, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support me, you can become a Patreon and join the Discord using the links below. Uh, um, comment below what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye! What's going on guys, Ace here. Today I'm going to be going over how to make star shows in Trepco in particular. Um, I'm going to start off with making the um, basic structure of this effect, and then I'm going to move on to more of like the personalized steps, and from there you can kind of do what you want to do. But I'll show you some new tips and tricks along the way, so stick around and maybe you'll learn something new. Okay, first off, what you're gonna need to do to use Particular is um, add a solid, so you can hit Control Y and add a solid, I'm just gonna name it Star Trail, okay? And then you can add your Particular right there. Okay, so now we have Particular added into the scene. Um, next we're gonna do is create a path for our Particular to be born on. Um, so to do that, I'm gonna tap G to you to uh, select the pin tool. And I'm gonna create a path, just kind of like this, nothing too special, just two points. Um, actually, let me do like this. I like to have these handles. So in order to do that, you click and drag, and you'll have these handles. So you can adjust the path like that. Um, so I'm just gonna do something like this here. Um, so next, what you're gonna do is um, I'm gonna tap M and put a keyframe down on my mask, and then I'm gonna copy that keyframe with Control C. And I'm gonna to go to my emitter settings and go to my position, which is right here, and keyframe that. I'm gonna tap U to bring up all the keyframes. And what you need to do from here is just paste your path keyframe onto your position, and you will have this. So to create two keyframes here where the emitter of our particular will follow the path that we've created. And that's pretty much the source of this effect. Um, so what we can do is first I'm going to increase the particle count to like 700 Okay, and then um, To create the trails all you need to do is go to your aux system Which is right here and turn that on to continuously and then now you can see we've got let me change the color of these so you can see it a little better and so let's change this to red so what's happening is our our base particles are the white ones that are being born and our aux system is creating a trail off of those particles so what we're going to do is adjust the trail and i'm going to change the source particles as well at the end but um so um what i'm going to do i'm going to change the particles per second up to let's do like 200. okay so now we've got these stronger trails here i'm going to change the size of our trails to two pixels wide and that makes them a little bit thinner that way I'm also going to change our blending mode to screen. So now we have a decent looking star trail. And also, if you don't like to see the path um, on your screen at all times, you can check this little button right here and it'll turn off the mask and path visibility. So now you can work on it without having that on your screen. So now I'm going to show you some different things that you can do to kind of make different looks and be really unique with it. So um, one thing I like to do is change my set color to over life. And if you look down here, you see a drop down arrow for color over life and you can open that up and you've got these different presets that you can set it on. You can do black to or white to black. You got this um, kind of tropical colors. But what I usually do is I put on the black to white. So you have two colors to um, adjust here. Let's say I just want to just keep it red, um, red and then to like a black. So if you want to adjust like where these colors are in the particles, you can change where these colors appear. So if you move this black box closer to the front, these particles will be turning black earlier on. So let's say you wanted the color to change from red to black to another color. All you do is click and it'll add another box for you. And you can double click on that box and you know change it to another color. This changes uh, to white. Okay, yeah, it looks weird, but but if you put a box on here that you don't want, all you do is click and drag it off to the right quickly like that, and it'll go away. If you do it too slow, it'll stay. You have to kind of quickly, you know, drop it off. Um, but yeah, so you've got the red to black. You can um, add as many as you want on here. You can use one of these presets, whatever. So 
Another thing that you can do is change the size over life, which is this drop down arrow right here. This will affect the size of your aux system over time. So there's these presets right here where you can adjust that and you can see this, what this is gonna do is gonna have the particles be non-existent coming to full size, which is um, two right now. So it'll be two pixels wide and then drop down gradually from that on. So yeah, these other presets that you can mess around with, um, I think this one's the most natural, but you can even change it back to solid. And then you can even do this, click this little icon right here and you can make um, kind of smooth graph on your own. Do whatever you want you know something like that if you were trying to do that um but yeah there's so many there's infinite many possibilities so let me reset this back to solid and i'm going to go to our main particle which is right here and i'm going to change the particle type to star no depth of field and you'll see this change okay so now we actually have this kind of starry look um, it's going to take a little bit longer to render because keep in mind that whenever you change your base particle, it will also affect your aux system. So that will look different. So you want to adjust those accordingly to what you're trying to do. If you want to change the um, physics of your star trail, you can go down to your physics drop down, which is right here. And I usually only mess with gravity. So maybe if you want negative gravity, it's pretty self-explanatory. Everything will be going up after it's formed. I'm going to play this. As you can see, this is taking a long time to render, and I'm gonna show you one quick tip on how to help that out if your system can handle it. Um, if you go down to your render settings, in rendering, you will have this option right here to change the acceleration from CPU to GPU. And if your GPU is decent, then your rendering will be faster in GPU rendering instead of CPU. Um, but keep in mind that that is for the newer version of trap code. Um, so you will need that if you want to have that option. So one last thing I can show you guys is how to adjust the speed that your particle moves through time. Um, you can't actually um, just throw these values, your position values into your graph editor, because even if you, you know, easy ease them, let me do that. If you F9, easy ease, and then go into the graph editor, you can't actually adjust these handles. Um, unless something has changed since I've used After Effects, you've never been able to do that. So what you have to do, so let me control Z. Okay. So what you have to do is actually pre comp and then time remap. So let me hit control shift C and then I'm going to move all attributes into the composition. Just the time. It's fine and hit okay. And then I'm going to control alt T to add time remap. And now it gives us two keyframes that we can easy ease and then add to the graph editor like that. So now if I do this, we will have this. And there you have it guys. That's how I create star trails in After Effects. So I want to thank Sarah for giving me the suggestion to do this tutorial because I really love my particular. It's probably my favorite thing to do in After Effects is mess with particles and trap code form. And there's so many things you can do, um, which I will get into in future tutorials. But yeah, just leave a suggestion below and I'll be sure to cover it. Continue to be creative and I'll see you guys next time.